Good afternoon and welcome to the Surrey Sports Park for WBBL Championship action where the league leading Seven Oaks Suns are back at home facing off against Durham. These sides met just a fortnight ago up in the northeast with Seven Oaks coming out 79 to 59 winners. Rene Bush led all scorers for the Suns with 21 points, while Lavinia De Silva came home with a 15 point, 13 rebound double double. As for Durham, they were led in scoring on the afternoon by Cara Elderkin with 19 points, and her fellow big Claire Paxton pulled down nine rebounds. Seven Oaks are the only undefeated team left in the WBBL Championship and are about to embark on a long journey with 13 games to come in the last five weekends of the WBBL season and have a big ask coming up with both Nottingham and the London Lions on the road next weekend to start off an April campaign that involves four games in five days at one point. For the Suns, everyone is a back fit and healthy. So Asher Andrews is a back in the rotation for coach Len Bush, along with Millie Stevens. And as for Durham, they are with their normal eight player rotation since the injury of Gerda Morkanite against Nottingham at the start of the month. Starting fives this afternoon for both teams. For the Suns, it'll be one Lavinia De Silva, eight Rene Bush, 20 Tiani Clark, 22 Kat Carr, and 31 Irene Garrido Perez. And as for Durham, they will start five Goretti, Hurtado Barbito, 12 Ellie Hutchinson, 14 Liza Stratton, 21 Cara Elderkin, and making her first WVBL start, 24 is it Jasmine July. Claire Paxton was a little bit limited in warm-up, so we will see if she is able to take to the floor for Durham. As they are the first team heading out onto the floor. Referees for this afternoon's contest are Ian Green and Keith Williams and it'll be Durham in the dark darker black slash purple kit and Seven Oaks coming out in white. Durham did pick up their first win of the campaign last weekend against the Caledonia Pride and have recently started to perform better. Obviously, Durham were one of the sides late to start the season and lost by one on the road in midweek against the Cardiff Met Archers. Seven Oaks had the midweek off, having completed a double header last week, beating the Newcastle Eagles 72 65 here at Surrey Sports Park before beating the Essex Rebels 64 52. Um, that was at Essex, but a Seven Oaks home game, so two effective home wins for the Eagles. And it'll be Elderkin and De Silva to contest the jump ball to get us underway. And it'll be Kat Carr with the first possession of the game. Shot a little long, and it'll be July with the rebound. Van Straten versus the ball to Elderkin. July to her left, looking for Van Straten on the roll. And lies Van Straten with the first two points of the afternoon. One of Durham's multiple Europeans. Durham look like they're going to be in a 2-3 zone here early. 
Clark off the ball screen, kicks it to Bush. Five on the shot clock as De Silva fakes, drives, kicks to Tiani Clark. Her three on the buzzer, up in time, but rims out. And Durham will look to push ahead in transition. Elderkin to Van Straten. Elderkin, the leading scorer for this Durham side. Finds July, six on the clock. She's going to try and drive on car, takes a bit of contact, misses the layup. Ball didn't hit the rim, but Car Elderkin picks up the loose ball and is able to convert and Durham out to a quick 4 0 different. Garrido Perez with the three and knocks it down. And one of Seven Oaks' multiple weapons from the outside, able to get the home team's account underway. Barbito finds Elderkin, she'll get the handoff back, chased off the three point line, finds Van Straten, right wing three is up and good. And Durham start three of three from the floor. Oh, so scoring on every possession, apologies. And again, back into an early lead. Carr in the high post, guarded by Elderkin in the zone. She will drive and manages to make the layup. Nice little scoop shot by Cap Carr. Leading score for this Suns team, averaging 18.1 points per game. As Durham turn it over and it'll be Carr going coast to coast. Lay up easy as you like for Cat Carr. Marbio stripped from behind by the silver. It'll be Garrido Perez out in transition. And she lays it home, and two Durham turnovers have led to easy points for the Suns, and they take their first lead of the afternoon. Nine to seven, three minutes gone here from Guildford. Van Straten looking for Elderkin, circling underneath, which turned over again, and it'll be Tiani Clark working, finds the trailing De Silva, her elbow jump shot's up, and gets the roll. And both teams having some success early from the floor. Durham will look to execute out the horn set. Van Straten gets the screen from Elderkin, and she gets all the way to the hoop. And Elias Van Straten with seven points here for Durham early. Only averages seven points per game. So a really strong start for Van Straten. His car's passed deflected by Elderkin. Ellie Hutchinson, the former seven oaks on driving, and she is fouled. Foul is on eight. That is Rennie Bush, her first. And Hutchinson had just about picked the ball up, so she will go to line for two. Hutchinson only able to make one of her two. As Bush gets into middle, kicks out to Carr now, looking inside De Silva, faces up on Eldkin, gonna spin back to her right hand. And Lavinia De Silva, the Portuguese international, able to get it to go for her second bucket of the afternoon. Van Straten to July. Kicks it inside to Elderkin. She beats the silver off the dribble but can't get the layup to go. And Seven Oaks looking to push again in transition. Car to Garrido Perez. Lovely bounce pass and time out Lee Davy for Durham. And really the Seven Oaks transition offense off turnovers. And now missed layups really causing Durham some problems. And those eight fast break points will no doubt 
be the emphasis of the Durham huddle as they trail 15 to 10. Less than five minutes into this first quarter from the Surrey Sports Park. This is one of four WBBL Championship games this afternoon. Oakland's versus Essex at three o'clock will not be live streamed. However, after this, you'll be able to switch straight over to action from Cardiff as the Cardiff Met Archers take on the WBBL Trophy champion London Lions. And then at five o'clock, it'll be the Leicester Riders taking on the Manchester Met Mystics. Both of those games will be on the respective YouTube channels of the club. In fact, Cardiff using the Cardiff Met TV service, so you'll be able to follow those games on there. And the Leicester Riders Manchester Mystic game is in fact here on the WBBL YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to that and you will get notification for when the game goes live. First sub of the afternoon for Durham in that timeout. Another former Seven Oaks son, Katie Bennett into the action, she will take the place of Van Straten as July finds Hutchinson underneath. She decides to kick it out. Barbito, three off the glass, but go good. And Durham, who really struggled from the perimeter this season, got a couple of early threes down here. As De Silva found inside, kicks it out to Garita puts she misses and Kat Carr able to pull down the offensive rebound on the weak side and Kat Carr up to six points personal. Barbie oh, oh, skips to Bennett. Elderkin, seven now on the clock. She fakes, she's going to drive spin on De Silva and De Silva called for the foul. Little hook from behind, and it will send Kara Elderkin to the line for two. Elderkin, a 71% free throw shooter on the season. First one unable to go. But Elderkin mm, able to make the second and we are back to a one possession lead as Garrido Perez drive and kick. Monacana now into the game for the Suns, finds Bush. De Silva briefly open underneath but forced to kick it out. Bush wide open for the three, off and July will come down with the defensive rebound. And Two Spaniards matching up against each other. And Garrido Perez knocks it away, but Durham will retain possession. As Lee Davy makes a couple of changes for Durham, July and Hutchinson out. Back into the game. Van Straten along with Ava Potecha making her first appearance of the afternoon wearing nine. She will hand it off and be open on the pop. Three is up a little long. And Durham missed for the first time this afternoon from the three point line as Carr goes coast to coast. Misses the layup, looking for contact. Keith Williams deciding it wasn't there. And Durham get the ball over press and now got a three on two. Four on two and the pass a little bit behind Van Straten. Durham somehow keep it alive. And reset to Elderkin, five on the shot clock. She finds Barbito, forces it up on the shot clock, hits nothing, and De Silva will come down with the rebound. Good defense by the Suns. And Durham not able to capitalize on the opportunity they had with a couple of bad passes. Carr drives into the middle of the paint, dishes it to De Silva, oh, Monacana, sorry, she's double teamed. 
and she will find the open Lavinia De Silva. And De Silva from six foot able to convert. And Seven Oaks back up to a five point lead. Two and a half minutes left of this first quarter. Patesha looking to skip past, but intercepted by Kat Carr. She is closed off by Katie Bennett, but the Suns still will have a four and three in transition. Carr to De Silva blocked by Van Straten, but the Suns come up with it. And Carr to wide open Rene Bush, her three in and out. So Rene Bush, the leading three point shooter in the league. Couple of str little struggles here early on. As Elderkin again forced to kick it out. Good defense by the Suns. And Garrido Perez blocks the drive by Barbito, and the ball will be out of bounds. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, yeah. Understand? There's a we've got a little problem with one of the cables here, um, causing some issues. So we'll get that fixed at the end of the first quarter for you as Suns make another change. Cat Holm into the lineup for the first time, wearing 14 as Durham miss and Van Straten's layup a missed. And the Suns will eventually get the stop. So again, apologies for the picture flickering. It's a dodgy cable, which we will get replaced at the end of the first quarter. Cat Carr wide open after Patesha drops to the floor, unable to make the layup. Uh, so the, Wide open jump shot from the foul line. And the Suns lead still remaining at five. Barbito kicks it back out. Now to Elderkin in the block, guarded by Holm. Elderkin up and over Holm as Kat Carr went to double. Strong finish by Carla Elderkin. And she is up to five personals. Holm is wide open underneath. She misses and a very late foul called underneath Van Straten late on the rotation. And it'll be capturing home to the line for two shots with 51 seconds left of this first quarter. Holm having joined this Seven Oaks team from Anglia Ruskin University in the middle of February, able to make both free throws. And see what Durham can do with this two for one opportunity. As Van Straten drives on Monacana, stops, get her to go by, misses the layup, gets her own rebound. Van Straten double teamed, able to kick it out to Katie Bennett. Protection drives and tries to split the defense, but takes one step too many and we'll turn it over on the travel. Fifth turnover of the first quarter for Durham. See if Seven Oaks can capitalise again. Some score on three of the four possessions where Durham have turned it over. Make that four or five as Tiani Clark gets to the baseline and lays it home. For her first points of the afternoon, Bennett to Elderkin on the roll and she is fouled by Tiani Clark. Clark just there a little bit too late on the rotation. And it'll be Cara Elderkin looking to join her teammate Lies Van Straten on seven personal points if she can make both. At the end of this first quarter. Elderkin misses the second, but Van Straten offensive rebound puts it up on the buzzer and the ball doesn't quite drop and that will do it here from the Surrey Sports Park, end of the first quarter. Seven Oaks Suns 23, Durham 17.
welcome back to the Surrey Sports Park and apologies again for this slight technical difficulty in the first quarter. I believe we've got that fixed but if you're still getting a bit of picture flicker just let us know in the comments. Seven Oaks will be the first team out on the floor for the second quarter. Leading scores for the first quarter. Irene Garrido Perez with seven points personal. And Lavinia De Silva and Kat Carr both with six. As for Durham, it's Lies Van Straten with seven and Cara Elderkin with six. And it'll be seven oaks to get us underway as the two former sons connect. It's Ellie Hutchison and Katie Bennett, both in their second year. Up in Durham, Bennett obviously missing most of last year with an injury as Bennett drives, knocked loose by Holm. She tries to find Bush, but that's broken up. And it'll be Tiani Clark to get the Suns set in the half court. Bush. Skips to Monacana, her long two up and short. Van Straten with the rebound finds July. Finds Hutchinson, they've got two and one on this left hand side. Hutchinson to Bennett, her three is up, just a little long for Katie Bennett. And Cap Carr with the defensive board. Suns leading by six. Early into this second quarter as Monacana lines up the three and connects. Janice Monacana, 33% shooter. On the season from downtown as July finds Bennett inside and she loses the handle out of bounds. Looking for the ball screen from Cat Holmes. Seven Oaks still working this hybrid man zone, and it'll be off Ellie Hutchinson. And Seven Oaks will have their third offensive rebound of the afternoon. Rennie Bush looking to come off the double screen, and five second call on the Suns. Durham doing a good job of blowing it up, and Suns are a little bit slow getting into it. And that was just enough time for the five second violation. Durham looking for staggers and eventually find Bennett at the top of the key. Still 10 on the clock, July. Looking to her left, back to her right. Has to kick it out, Elderkind as well. July on the buzzer, gets it up a little long and tipped out of bounds by Elderkin. Sun's defense really starting to lock in in the last few minutes, having given up 11 early points. Cat Carr coming off the double screen, open, gets past Hutchinson, foul line jumper is good for Cat Carr. And she is up to eight points personal. As Hutchinson just about keeps the ball in bounds, finds Van Straten on the block. She tries to ditch it. So drop it off inside, ball's loose, it comes back to Van Straten eventually and she is able to make the bucket a little bit scrappy for Dunn but they are able to notch their first points of this second quarter as Monacana wide open for three, in and out, Elderkin with the board and Carl Elderkin up to four rebounds already. Looking like she'll have to do the majority of work inside as Claire Paxton still yet to see the court and wonder if she will play at all. As Hutchinson skips it to Elderkin, her corner three is up and a little long. And Cara Elderkin struggles from the three point line, continues. She's now one of nine on the season. And Bennett breaks up the entry pass. 
and both sides will make a sub. Lavinia De Silva checking back in for the Suns. And it will be Goretti Hurtado Babito in for Durham. Suns able to this time get the inbound in. Clark to Hutchinson. She finds Bush wide open in the corner. It's a long two. Rebound in and out of the hands of Elderkin to Clark and she tries to find the open to Silva but ball batted out of bounds. And Suns a couple of struggles from the three point line early. They're two of ten now as Carr's found inside. Fouled by Van Straten and gets the layup to go. So Kat Carr, the first player into double digits this afternoon. And she will have a chance to convert the three point play. Kat Carr doing what she always does for this Seven Oaks Suns team. A little bit of everything on the season. Averaging 18.1 points, 7.6 assists, 7 rebounds a game for Len Bush's side. Hutchinson unable to find anything off the stagger screens. Elderkin on the duck in her little hook shot up and in. Nice move by Durham's leading scorer, Carla Elderkin, and she is up to eight personal. And this lead still in double digits for the Suns, but down to 10. Bush skip pass to Clark. She is attempted to be run off the three point line by Van Straten, but she fouls Clark, who was going to drive. And that's a second personal foul on Van Straten. Also, second team foul for Durham. Car to Monacana, her long two up, back iron, rebound pulled down by De Silva. Durham in rotation after the offensive rebound. Car open in the short corner, and her jumper is good. And Kat Car is having a strong scoring afternoon early on here at the Surrey Sports Park. The Seven Oaks lead up to 12 as Barbito can't find Hutchinson in the corner. And for the first time this afternoon, Asha Andrews will be checking into the game for the Suns, along with Irene Garrido Perez returning, replace Monacana and Clark. Asha Andrews missed the last couple of games for the Suns. And the youngster who will be off to the college in the States next year, in fact, in Hawaii, will get her first action of the afternoon. Andrew's coming in, averaging just over five points a game as Carr three is short. And the ball will trickle out of bounds. And what's really been a rare miss for Kat Carr so far this afternoon, She's five of eight shooting. And Durham, who still only have the four points in the second quarter, find July down low. Her turnaround in and out, and it'll be Carr pushing the ball in transition. Extra pass all the way to Rene Bush in the corner. She kicks it out. Asha Andrews drives on the closeout. Finds a cutting cap Carr, and she lays it home. And Lee Davy will use his second timeout. Suns winning the second quarter 12 to 4 and that'll be enough for the Durham coach to take time and talk it over with his roster. Feel free to put in the comments any support or comments and we'll get to them during the game on the stream. Reminder that these two sides did meet in Durham a couple of weeks ago. And the game following a relatively similar pattern to that at the moment. Seven Oaks led at halftime 46 27 in that game. So a 19 point halftime lead. And the second quarter a lot more evenly matched. Durham, in fact, closed what was a 19 point 
lead down to single digits in the third quarter before Seven Oaks eventually pulled away down the stretch. That game was coached by Sun's assistant Kapil Kumar with Glenn Bush still recovering, but glad to see him back on the sidelines and feeling a lot better as the Suns are the first to come out of that timeout. Looks like the same five for the Suns and Durham making a change with Ava Patecha back into the lineup. Suns looking like a full court press. July able to find Barbita over the top. She splits the double team and able to get Durham set up in the half court. Ball into Eldkin on the block. She faces up against the silver. Loses the handle trying to go into the middle of the floor. And Durham with a ninth turnover. Bush fouled on the three by Hutchinson. And Rene Bush will have the opportunity for three foul shots. Ellie Hutchinson thought she got the ball, but referee Keith Williams said she also got a little bit of the arm as well. And Renee Bush continues her perfect streak from the foul line. Yet to miss a free throw on the season. She's now 14 of 14. Make that 15 of 15. And her first points of the afternoon have extended this lead to 17. July to Hutchinson on the right wing. July looking for it in the high post. Now going to try and post up, but Hutchinson drives to the middle of the floor. Layup in and out. And Jasmine July can't quite pull down the rebound. And this Durham offense really struggling at the moment. Still just the two baskets in this third, second quarter. Bush to Garrido Perez. She's wide open for the three, knocks it down. And Irene Garrido Perez, second triple of the afternoon. Push this to a 20 point lead. Elderkin to Hutchinson. Eldkin back out of the post. Three is up and long by Patecha. Carr hands it off to Andrews. She will drive into the paint, have it stripped by Patecha. And Durham off in transition. July loses the handle and turns it over to Kat Carr, trying to find Barbito in the corner and Sun to have a three on two. Bush, 12 foot pull up is good. And this is all one-way traffic now for the Seven Oaks Suns, who are looking to go 8-0 in the WBBL Championship. Hutchinson looking for something to develop. Elderkin denied by the Silver. Eventually gets it back, fakes the handoff, keeps it. Elderkin up and no good. And it'll be Asha Andrews trying to get Seven Oaks offense going. And she finds De Silva. De Silva's layup hits the bottom of the backboard. July, long outlet pass to Barbito, who lays it home. And Dom able to capitalize in transition. Good pass by July there. As De Silva nearly has the entry pass knocked away, but manages to retain possession. Seven Oaks. Attacking the switch, De Silva inside, missed the layup, gets her own rebound. And at the second time of asking, Lavinia De Silva able to put it home. Hutchinson picks a dribble up, has to find Elderkin to Barbito. Now eight on the clock, 
she drives, has it knocked away by Rene Bush. Seven Oaks really capitalising Durham, a little bit static, and the two on one fast break is good. And it'll be Lavinia De Silva, the latest Seven Oaks Suns player, into double digits. She joins Carr and Garrido Perez with 10 in double digits, so three Suns so far at that mark. There's Hutchison drive and kick to July. She's going to attack the middle, kicks it to Patecha. She has to put it up with the shot clock low, gets it off the rim. July, offensive rebound, she misses but gets a put back. So a couple of quick offensive rebounds for Durham. And July gets her first bucket of the afternoon, having started 0 of 4. And with 38 seconds to go, Lynn Bush will go to the bench. Tiani Clark coming in for Kat Carr. And the Suns have the sideline ball with 39 seconds left on the quarter, 17 on the shot clock. De Silva, entry pass knocked away, comes out to Bush. She finds Clark wide open. Elderkin thought about the closeout, baited Carr, Clark into the shot. She can't get it to go. And Barbito looking to be aggressive in transition, finds Elderkin. She's doubled, skips it. Patecha drives on the closeout. She'll go to the runner up and a little long, but done with another offensive rebound. This time it's Hutchinson. She tries to find Barbito inside, but she has to bring it out. Eight on the shot clock. Hutchinson going to drive, loses it, finds July. She drives baseline, kicks it out. Barbito to beat the shot clock up and referee says 24 second violation. And Suns will have the ball with 0.8 seconds to go. And like most likely an inbound, which they do to Andrews. She gets the three up. Think good if it goes, but Ash Andrews unable to connect. And that will bring us to half time. Seven Oaks Suns 47, Dome 25. We will take a break here at the Surrey Sports Park and we join you in about 12 minutes time for second half action.
Welcome back to the Surrey Sports Park where we're a couple of minutes away from resuming the second half of this WBBL clash between the Seven Oaks Suns and Dur Durham Palatinites. Seven Oaks are leading 47 to 25 after 20 minutes. Really the damage done in that second quarter which the Suns won 24 to eight. Suns have Three players in double digits, Lavinia De Silva with 10, Irene Garrido Perez on 10 as well, and Kat Carr with 15, along with five rebounds, three assists, and three steals. As for Durham, who look like they're gonna be playing without Claire Paxson this afternoon, have Elias Van Straten leading all scores with nine points and Cara Eldkin working on a double-double, having played the whole first half on eight points, six rebounds. And good afternoon to you joining us on this Saturday afternoon. Reminder that Leicester and Newcastle will be on the WBBL YouTube channel this afternoon at five o'clock, so make sure you subscribe. And if you have notifications on, you'll be warned when that game goes live. The other game this afternoon that is being live streamed, Cardiff and the London Lions will be on the Cardiff Met TV channel as well here on YouTube. And thank you to David Smith for the question over half time asking my opinion on the top three players and teams in the league. I think the top three teams currently seem to be separating themselves a little bit. That is your WBBL Cup champions, Leicester Riders, WBBL Trophy champions, the London Lions, and the Seven Oaks Suns, who are top of the league and undefeated. As for players, for me, we'll go with former WBBL MVP, Kat Carr, and then the WBBL Trophy final MVP, Kennedy Leonard. And the third for me right now is Jasmine Joyner, who is still awaiting results of some scans. Those of you that were watching saw she had a nasty injury 90 seconds into the trophy final. So hopefully the news for Jasmine Joyner isn't too bad and she has a good recovery period. As Tiani Clark will inbound the ball and gets underway here from Surrey Sports Park. Bush to De Silva in the short corner. Finds Tiani Clark, seven on the shot clock. Carr working on a former teammate, Ellie Hutchinson, pull up jumper is short and the ball will roll out of bounds. Obviously Durham having the two former Seven Oaks players in Ellie Hutchinson and Katie Bennett in their lineup, both making their return. Katie Bennett did not play against the Suns last year. So our first return as Durham see if they can establish high low with Van Straten. Her foul line pull up is a little long, but the rebound comes all the way out to Barbito. She's now open on the back up, blocked from behind by Garrido Perez but a nice find, but Perez able to recover just in time to swap the ball out of bounds. Durham still have eight seconds left on the shot clock. Durham kick it out, Hutchinson gonna drive, De Silva switches out onto her, Hutchinson gonna have to pull it up, blocked by De Silva, she'll come down with it, find Carr who loses the handle, Kat Carr dives on the floor to retain possession. And Garrido Perez wide open from the corner, her three in and out. Garrido Perez two of three from downtown in that first half. Unable to connect there and we're still scoreless. 80 seconds into the second half as Bennett stops and pops. Her little jumper is a too long. And Suns again trying to push in transition. Something able to do early on this game, had 10 quick fast break points in the first quarter as Bush's pull up is good and Renee Bush able to make her second field goal of the afternoon and by certainly her high standards a little bit of struggle from 
the perimeter today, 0 of 4, but was fouled on a three in that first quarter. As Durham again trying to look. Durham swing the ball round after the switch out, and Barbito's three in and out, rebound Tiani Clark. And Suns working to see if they can extend what is their biggest lead of the day to Silver to Bush. The extra pass to Carr. She thinks about the three and will take it. Cat Carr in and out. Offensive rebound, Tiani Clark. Her putback no good. De Silva up and also no good. And Sun's able to get a fourth offensive rebound. It's Tiani Clark, kicks it out. Bush thinks about the three drives, finds De Silva inside on the mismatch. Her layup no good. And you could probably pick up her frustration and unable to connect. So Sun's 0 and 5, 0 of 5 on the possession. Van Straten in the post. Elderkin nearly thrown away, but she gets her hands on it. She has to try and rotate it just over the hands of Clark. Bennett will find it. Pull up three is up and good. And Katie Bennett making her first field goal of the afternoon. How's this? Garrido Perez, six on the shot clock, working on Hutchinson, has to kick it out to Bush. She drives and unable to get it to go. 24 second violation, isn't called by the referees. No one had the ball, Durham did. So referees happy to let it go and Ellie Hutchinson called for the charge on Rene Bush. Both teams stopped at the shot clock, had expired. But with no possession, referee is happy to let it go. And Ellie Hutchins trying to push and runs over Renee Bush for her second foul of the afternoon. Tiani Clark looking inside to the silver, but Kara Eldkin able to break it up. Durham three on three in transition. Forced to slow up a little bit. And it'd be Katie Bennett to back it out. Tries to find the cutting Van Straten, but poor pass. Suns now with the transition two on one. Car to Garrido Perez. She blows the layup. So Seven Oaks really getting sloppy from around the rim. That's five or six missed opportunities you'd expect a side like this to make. And I know after the London Lions game, it was an area of emphasis, is trying to be better around the rim. Coach Len Bush felt like he blown, they blew six or seven layups there. But it's Katie Bennett with the reverse layup to penalise the Suns. And Garrido Perez will line up the triple. And she is able to finally break the seven oak scoring drought, which lasted nearly four minutes with a triple. And put this lead back into the 20s once again. Van Straten kicks it out. Bennett step back three up and in and out for Katie Bennett. Carr sets the screen for her longtime teammate Tiana Clark. She'll take the pull up. Lavinia De Silva able to track down the rebound, beating out Elderkin. And Carr turns it over. A little bit of confusion by the Suns, not sure that pass was intended for, but Durham three in transition, wide open. But Atato Babita unable to knock it down. And this second half really a little bit sloppy by both teams, but certainly the Suns won't be happy with their offensive imp out impacts. But yet again, Garrido Perez able to knock down the triple, her fourth of the afternoon and coach Lee Davey will call time out with his side training 55 points to 30, 4.15 left of this third quarter.
welcome back to the Surrey Sports Park as both teams just about them, they just about to make their way back onto the floor. Seven Oaks with a 25 point lead. And I'm sure both teams talking about trying to tighten up the execution, which has been a little bit sloppy in this third quarter. And Seven Oaks will use the timeout to make a couple of changes. Janice Monacana checking in and for the first time wearing 35, Hayley Miller. As for Durham, Jasmine July checking back into the game. July having her first start of the WBBL campaign in place of Claire Paxton. July handoff. She's going to take the pull-up jump shot from the foul line, leaves it a little short. Miller rebound finds Rene Bush. And Durham able to get back in transition. Miller working on July, blocked. But referee Ian Green calls July for the foul. Got a little bit of ball and some of the arm as well. So Hayley Miller, immediate impact off the bench, will head to line for two. Second team foul for Durham. First on July. Miller misses the second, but Carr able to out muscle July to get the offensive rebound and she lays it home for two. And Kat Carr regaining the lead scorer on the night. Now up to 17 points personal. Elder King keeps the handoff, finds July, short corner. She will drive into the middle. A little bit of contact by Monacana and able to get it to go. It's Jasmine July, second bucket of the afternoon. And Durham back into the zone. Looks like a one, maybe a one three one. And Suns turn it over. Ellie Hutchinson finding Katie Bennett in transition. July wide open from the top of the three point and leaves it short. And the ball will roll out of bounds. And sub for Durham as Ellie Hutchinson will take a break and Ava Pacheska back into the game. Monacana, oh, Miller ducking in, unable to open enough to receive the pass. Bush finds Miller, her jumper is up and good. And Hayley Miller, another junior from the Seven Night Suns program, able to have three quick points off the bench. Durham really struggling to get anything going. Eldkin holding the ball, now working on Miller, kicks it out. Three is up and a little short. And it'd be Kat Carr again looking to pull it away. Bush wide open from three and Rene Bush missed four but not going to miss the fifth. Knocks down her first triple of the afternoon and is the fourth Seven Oaks Suns player into double digits. Bennett. At the top, still 10 on the shot clock. Dunk China again, look back door. Elderkin wide open from three. A little too far off to the left. And Rene Bush, this time with the defensive board. Kat Carr trying to kick it out to Bush, but just a little bit of miscommunication. And Seven Oaks will commit what is only their seventh turnover of the game. Seven Oaks using the bench a little bit in this second half, checking into the game for the first time, wearing 11, Izzy Wood. Here she is on the closeout, gets beaten, and Patecha gets all the way to the rim and able to lay it home for two. Wood. 
two, Garrido Perez. He's going to take the long two. And Irene Garrido Perez continuing her strong afternoon. She's up to 18 points personal, seven of 10 shooting for the Spaniard. As July will face up in the short corner, leave it a little short. And Suns again looking to push in transition. Car coast to coast, no one stops the ball. Her layup short, but Hayley Miller collects the offensive rebound. And Katie Bennett will go to the will Fowler and Miller back to the line as Van Straten and Hutchinson checking in for Durham. Hayley Miller only played 19 minutes so far this season, but taking full advantage of the opportunity she's been given in this second half by coach Len Bush. And she's able to make both free throws. And this lead is now up to 33 points. July gets the screen from Van Straat and she'll stop behind the three up. Little long, ball hits the rim twice and just bounces into the hands of Cara Elderkin. And she is able to lay it home for two. And she will be the first Durham player into double digits. Elderkin yet to take a break as Monacana drives, well defended. But Kat Carr on the back cut, able to convert. And Durham will have six seconds if they're quick. Barbito gonna stop from long range, put up the three and nearly gets it to go, but just a little off to the left, and that will end the third quarter here at the Surrey Sports Park, 7 69 Durham 36. Welcome back to the Surrey Sports Park where Seven Oaks Suns are the first team onto the floor. Looks like they're going to start the fourth quarter with Carr, Miller, Wood, Monacana and Garrido Perez. And Durham just now coming out of their huddle. It will be Hutchinson, Barbito, Elderkin, Van Straten and July for Durham. As it will be Ellie Hutchinson to get us underway for the fourth quarter. Van Straten. Finds 
Barbitos. Her skip pass to Van Straten. Elbow pull up a little bit off to the right. And Kat Carr pulls down yet another defensive board. That's her 10th. So Kat Carr, 19.10 rebound double double as Miller is found inside wide open. And Hayley Miller having a really strong afternoon for the Suns, seven points off the bench. Durham again looking to execute out the horn set. Elderkin's going to drive. Tries to skip past, but Monaconish. Don't know how much she knew about it, but in the passing lane and Kat Carr on the floor finds Izzy Wood and she'll be fouled by Ellie Hutchinson. And more Sun subs coming in. Kat Carr gonna take a breather having picked up the double-double. And Zuleika Franklin into the game for the first time, so Suns running with three of their juniors on the court. At the same time, Izzy Wood to Monacana. Looking for Miller, working and Von, Von Straten in the post. She'll all the way around and can't get it to go. Good defense by Van Straten and Durham have a three on two. Hutchinson caught in two minds, turns it over. And it'll be Seven Oaks this time in transition. And Van Straten breaks up the pass, but illegally so with a foot. And Suns will have the end line ball. Still 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Franklin to Garrido Perez. Fakes right, drives left, finds Monacana underneath. And Janice Monacana with the reverse layup for two. Monacana, um, certainly by her normal standards, a little bit quiet this afternoon, but Suns. Really efficient. Elderkin to July. Her short corner jump shot is good. And Jasmine July, who struggled a little bit from the floor, only three of 11, up to six points personal. Franklin nearly loses the handle, but retains it. They'll find Izzy Wood wide open, right wing three up and good for Izzy Wood. And she will have her second made three of the season as Hutchinson goes baseline. Pass intended for Barbito, picked off by Franklin. She will find Wood. Her pull up just a little long. And it'll be Durham now pushing in transition. Barbito all the way to the rim, lays it home for two, getting past Miller. And both teams continue to go back and forth in this fourth quarter. Monacana to Garrido Perez. Her triple in and out. Very rare miss for Garrido Perez today. It was four of six from three before that as Elderkin spins and that hook shot goes in and out. Sun's working it around, it's Monacana wide open and she knocks down the three. Janice Monacana's second triple of the fourth quarter. And she's now up to eight points personal. Hutchinson, Elderkin on the duck in, she's double team, kicks it out. July with the three up and a little long. And it'll be Garrido Perez with the board. Miller to Wood, wide open in the corner, knocks it down. And Izzy Wood still yet to miss a three this season. She's three of three on the year. And the Seven Oaks Juniors are making a case perhaps for some playing time as this season progresses. July cuts back door, she gets the layup to go. Good find by Ellie Hutchinson under pressure. And Jasmine July up to Eight points personal as well. Wood to Monacana. She has the ball knocked away from behind by Hutchinson. 
And Doham trying to push in transition, but Van Straten's pass just a little too long. And Lee Davy will call timeout with 5.23 to go of this fourth quarter. Seven Oaks are leading 82 to 42. And this will give us time to have a quick look at the upcoming schedules for both teams. So Seven Oaks next weekend hit the road for two games. They go to Nottingham Wildcats on Good Friday, six o'clock tip off from the Nottingham Wildcats Arena. And then some will say maybe the, one of the biggest league games left of the season, London Lions versus Seven Oaks Suns on Sunday, the 4th of April. Obviously, Seven Oaks winning the first matchup here at Surrey Sports Park 10 days ago, 75-72. And if Suns can win, they will take a big step in their quest to try and win the WBBL Championship yet again. As for Durham, they will be on the road again on Wednesday. They will take on the Manchester Met Mystics on the road and then have back-to-back -back games over the course of four days against the Leicester Riders. And Seven Oaks with some more changes here. Having so into the game, Katrin Holm. And for the first time, wearing 18, Mila Stevenich. Stevan Stevenich? I'll go Stevenich. As, <laughs> apologies if I've gotten that name wrong, I do not know. Um, as Sun's able to. To, so Mr. Layup Van Straten working inside. She will go to the face up and knocks it down. Lies Van Straten. Nine points all came in the first quarter. And she'd called off but able to finally get herself into double digits as Asha Andrews drives. And contact was taken by Van Straten, but she was in the charge circle. July inside to Elderkin. Her turnaround in and out. And the Seven Oaks Suns trying to push with Izzy Wood. Kicks it to Asher Andrews. Holm coming to set the screen in the high post. Asher Andrews pulls up behind the screen a little long and it'll be Katie Bennett with the rebound. And she loses the handle, but that's knocked away by Suns. So six former Suns now on the six former Seven Oaks Suns juniors now all on the court at the same time. The four current juniors plus Hutchinson and Bennett. As Bennett lines up the three a little long and a good box out lets Izzy Wood pick the ball up off the floor. Franklin up and under move, but the layup unable to go. And Durham out in transition. Hutchinson layup good. Good pass, I believe, by Van Straten. And Ellie Hutchinson able to make her first field goal of the afternoon. Franklin to home in the high post. She takes on Elderkin, drives to the hoop and is fouled. And Katrin Holm will go to line for the second time this afternoon. Seven Oaks, 10 of 11 from the foul line this afternoon. Make that 11 of 12 as Holm Knocks him down again. Van Straten now working in the post. Forced baseline, kicks it out. And ball deflected away by Franklin. And Dunn will have a nice 
rounded 14 seconds left to work with on this offense. Elderkin on the elbow was open for a minute but was looking for a pass instead. Now she fakes the handoff, driving on home and she will go to the line. So the two former Team Northumbria players going at each other at either end of the court. And it'll be Cora Elderkin to the line for her fifth and sixth free throw of the afternoon, two of four. And she's also working on a double-double, 10 points, nine rebounds for Elderkin as her free throws off. And the two ARU, former ARU players, Holm and July, working out for the ball. And it'll be a seven-ounce ball. But first of all, coach Len Bush takes a timeout with 3.10 to go. Seven Oaks 84, Durham 47. to the Surrey Sports Park where we've got three minutes left of this WBBL Championship fixture between Seven Oaks and Durham. It'll be Asher Andrews trying to get the Suns set up. Len Bush talking about trying to get some offensive continuity in that timeout. Home, four on the shot clock, stops looking for an outlet. Franklin cuts back door, her layup well contested by July. And July trying to find Van Straten too much on the pass and turns it over. Franklin to Wood. She turns the corner, will go with the flow at Izzy Wood. A little too long and she's able to get a hand on the ball but can't control it so Durham will get possession back. So we're into the final two and a half minutes. July looking for Elderkin cutting to the block. She has to kick it out. Van Straten, Hutchinson on the back door cut, layup. Unable to go, but Cara Elderkin collects her 10th rebound of the afternoon, is able to lay it home. So Cara Elderkin with the 13 point 10 rebound double double. As Andrews gets into the paint, kicks it out. Stavanovic's drive, no good, rebounded by Holm. She finds Izzy Wood, she will turn around Izzy Wood off to the right. And Dunn will come away with it. Van Straten driving to the middle, kicks out. Katie Bennett, right wing three is up and good. Katie Bennett's second triple of the afternoon. Durham now four of 19 from downtown. And Bennett up to eight points personal. Holm keeps the handoff. July strips it loose and Durham have a two on one. Van Straten and July. July blocked by Asher Andrews. Good defense by Andrews to get back as Van Straten knocks down the three. As Sun's unable to match up out of transition. But good defense by the Sun's youngster. And she will now find Holm on the pick and pop. She finds Devanovic in the corner and her three up and good. So Seven Oaks youngsters really making an impact. It was Hayley Miller in the third quarter with seven points personal. And Izzy Wood 
with those two quick threes as well that really be a good positive for Len Bush as Ellie Hutchin drives to the lane. Mr. Light looks down, looks like she tweaked her ankle a little bit on the drive. So Seven Oaks playing five on four, see if they can find the open player. And they can't as Hutchin just about gets into the play. Andrew's pull up jump shot is good. And Lee Davy taking no risk with Ellie Hutchinson's ankle, able to take it out after the made basket. Remind, stay with us after the game, and we will get the thoughts of Coach Len Bush of the Seven Oaks Suns. And sure, he'll have some words as Izzy Wood strips the ball. And she will go home and make the layup, coast to coast layup for Izzy Wood. And now Suns with another steal. And Cat Holm came up with it, Fed Wood and Izzy Wood fouled. And she will have the chance to go to line. Wood able to make the first. And she will have a chance for double digits if she can knock this free throw down. Indeed she does. Izzy Wood, 10 points personal. And Durham will bring the ball over and presumably dribble out the clock. Indeed they will. And that will end the game here at the Surrey Sports Park. Seven Oaks Suns, 93, Durham 55. And make sure you stay with us and we will momentarily bring you post-game reaction from coach Len Bush of the Seven Oaks Suns. What? Not very hard days. Well, the first seven minutes you were not your best. It's pretty normal, you know, you never come out and just Oh, we're live. <laughs> Welcome back to the Surrey Sports Park now, joined by Suns head coach Len Bush. Len, a little bit of a slow start, but then really efficient from there. You must be delighted with ha of, uh, certainly how that senior group played to, to get the lead out and then the impact your bench had as well with the juniors. I was thrilled. We've been struggling all year to get enough of a cushion to... Uh, get everybody in the game and give them some good minutes and um, so today today worked out really nicely for them I mean Haley Miller came off and got some points for us Izzy uh, Wood got some points for us so yeah it showed some signs if I can you know maybe I can expand the rotation a little bit yeah I was going to say when you've got players that come in off the bench you always want to say 
give me some minutes. And obviously, Haley had a big impact in the third, and then Izzy Wood, the two threes, and then got herself into double digits at the end as well. So just talk about how you feel like the, the group of juniors are developing with this with this roster, obviously not getting to play as much this year with, with everything that's happened with mm. COVID. Well, they, they have to, they've been trying to make use of practice. So they're practicing against, you know, the best best players and some of the best players in the country. So they that gets them better. And we have a big stretch of, uh, I don't know what it is, six games in nine or 10 days coming up in a week or so. So we're going to need, we're going to need people to step in and play. And obviously you mentioned the big run coming up next weekend before you come back to Surrey Sports Park. You've got Nottingham on the road and London Lions on the road. Just how important is it that you can keep the momentum going from today to build into next weekend? I know you think London's going to be another huge battle. Well, it's never really difficult building momentum with this group. I mean, we will have Nottingham and Barking in front of us. Uh, we'll be practicing for that this week. And we just go about our business. And the other thing about the group is they're really good at enjoying, um, you know, they realize how fortunate we are to be playing. So they enjoy practice, they enjoy being together, and they enjoy playing games. So. Well, Len, thank you very much for your time. And remind us, Seven Oaks Suns back here at Surrey Sports Park a week on Wednesday against the Cardiff Met Archers. Uh, make sure you carry on following and notifications and make sure you know when WBBL are live.